welcome back to my channel you guys see the title of the video so you guys already know what i am going to be discussing with everything going on with the coronavirus pandemic um you have some people out here who have retail stores who are honest and who really 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 want to help their customers and then you have other people who are out here who are not honest and who will use every chance that they get to price gouge and extort customers out of money. Today is March the 17th. The incident that occurred um, happened on yesterday. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about that incident. Um, with everything going on, you guys know that there is a shortage in toilet paper. For the love of me, all the things to go in the store and purchase. I don't know why everyone wants to go and purchase toilet paper. So on yesterday at 9 a.m., I called Everyday Yard Sale and I spoke to the owner of Everyday Yard Sale, Michael Mason. Um, Everyday Yard Sale is um, supposed to be like a discount store here in Salisbury, North Carolina. The address of the store is 1953 Jake Alexandra Boulevard and they're in Suite B. Um, Michael's phone number is 704-773-8655. Um, and I'm also gonna put the information to the store somewhere on this screen, just depends on what it looks like, you know, when I go and do my playback, but I'm gonna put the information so you can see it on this screen. It's gonna be somewhere either here or here or down here somewhere. But um, I call Michael at nine o'clock. I've shopped in his store many times before. Now he is a small business and he's a minority owned business. So I try my best to support minority owned businesses when I can. Um, his Some of his prices are really red at what they would be in the store and some were a little over, you know, but that's okay because like I said, I try my best to support minority owned businesses. I called him at 9 a.m. yesterday morning and I asked him if he had toilet tissue in stock and I asked him if it was still, you know, the $25 for the 30 rolls or if his price had changed. And even though I know it hadn't because I just purchased some um, like maybe 30, 45 days ago. So I knew that the price hadn't changed, but I was just making sure because I know sometimes, you know, people go up on their prices, but his price has been solid that, you know, $25 for 30 rolls for a long time. And then he charged $40 for the boxes and you get like the double rolls, it would, which would like come to like 80 or something like that. I'm not really sure about the boxes because I never buy the boxes. I'm not gonna spend $40 for toilet, pa toilet paper. So I never buy the boxes, but I think it's like 80 or something in there um, or either double rolls that would equal 80. So um, he said that he was out getting more stock and that he would be back um, to his store around 10 30 11 o'clock if you know Michael you know his 10 30 11 o'clock means 11 o'clock so um, I did go to the store after speaking to him because I had some things to do that was close to the store so I just went on to the store and then you know if you know the area you know a McDonald's is in front of so I went to McDonald's got me some food came back because there were people that were beginning to gather and I didn't want to be in there all day. So I said, I'm going to just sit here. So when 11 o'clock gets here, I'll be here in and out. So 11 o'clock come, he wasn't there. Uh, um, an older guy that I seen in the store prior, who's also been a customer forever. I don't know his name because I never really talked to him other than speaking. Hey, how you doing? Have a nice day. Um, he was driving a minivan, so when I walked up to the door, he was like, he ain't in there. And I said, no, he's not in there, but I talked to him around 9. He said he would be here. So he called him, cracked the joke, you need to get to your store and run your business, blah, 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 blah. Just joking because in the past, Michael has always been like a really good guy to talk to. You know, when you go in the store, he's always been nice. I don't know what his issue was yesterday. So he pulls up around 11.08, 11.09. He was driving a 10 foot U-Haul. At the time, I didn't look in the U-Haul, but I did look in the U-Haul before I left when I was leaving. And I got in my car and I was driving out. I stopped and I turned and I looked in the U-Haul. That U-Haul truck was full from front to back with toilet tissue. The, the $25 um, bags that he had, had always sold, 
you know, the third rows, it was full from front to back with toilet tissue. And then it had some um, Tide laundry detergent in there um, as well. But um, Michael came in the store. He, uh, you know, he let us in. He came and he said, Lord, I never got to my store and had a line like this. Because I'm telling you, it was at least 20 other customers there other than me. If not more, there were a lot of people there. When we walked in the store and he saw that everyone was coming there to buy toilet tissue, this dude said the price of the toilet tissue is $40. And in order for you to purchase toilet tissue, you have to also purchase paper towel, which is $20, which is going to make the price $65. So I'm like, what? This is not the boxes that you sell. This is the regular $25 toilet paper that you sell. So there was another lady that I didn't know. She was like, oh, I'm not spending this for toilet paper. I just talked to my girl a little bit ago and this toilet paper is $25. I've been buying this toilet paper from him forever. I said, me too. It's $25. So, um... There was another lady in the store. She was with her daughter. I heard this lady tell her daughter, um, you know, I'm on a fixed income. I can't, you know, afford to buy this toilet tissue because we both need it. I need it for my house. You need it for your house. I mean, they went into a full conversation about how um, the lady has... You know kids so they can't split it because you know the the lady has kids and you know a husband and i don't know who the older lady lived with when i'm saying the lady has kids how the older lady was talking to the younger lady like she was her daughter um and i'm pretty sure she was because when the younger lady addressed her she addressed her as mom um, but she was saying how we can't split it because i need it for my house you need it for your house and if we have to buy two sets of the toilet tissue and two sets of the paper towel that's 120 dollars we still have to go to the grocery store this young lady told her mother that not to worry about it because she would pawn her television so they can still have money to go to the grocery store you know by this time i am so pissed so i said to him what are you talking about $40 for the paper towel, excuse me, for the tissue, plus an extra, you know, 20 for, you know, the paper towel. When you come to taxes, that's $65. That's a difference between you coming in the store thinking you're going to pay $25 for something and then it's $65. You know, when I said, I said, and I talked to you on the phone, you told me your stuff was, even though I knew it, I said, but I still called because I want to make sure you had the stock before I drove over here. I said, you told me that it was still $25, you know, for the 30 rolls, nothing had changed, you know, and I was like, what is this $40 thing you're talking about plus this extra money for the tip I meant for the paper towel making a total of $65. He gonna tell me, shh, be quiet because I don't want these other customers in here to hear you. You gonna get me jumped by all these people in here. And then he goes on to say that, um, you know, he had sold out yesterday, which was a lie because when we walked in, it was a lot of toilet paper in there. But he said, you know, people are coming into his store and they're only purchasing um, toilet paper and he had other inventory that he needed to move and if um and if um you know you wanted to buy the toilet paper you were also going to buy the paper towel pretty much is his store you know you either buy it or you don't have it because no one else in town has it and he does you know pretty much my store my rules i could jack this price up and price gouge it ain't nothing you could do about it so other customers in that was talking as well this other guy that i was talking to you know i think he told me he was talking and he told me his age i want to say he said he was either 50 or 60 but he looked so good for his age me and him was standing there and we were having a conversation because mike was like because how we were talking like this is gonna be 65 dollars for something that's usually 
$25. So he was like, are y'all two together? And we was like, no, we just met each other, but we're talking about how you are jacking this price up. And the, and the older guy, he, he purchased it as well. He said, you know, I need it. It is what it is. And he also purchased some laundry detergent. Um, so he paid like $80, $85, something like that. I was halfway listening to his total. But, um, and then he said, well, it's his store. He going to do what he want to do in here. And I said, yeah, but he's not going to do what he wants to do with my money. I know what he said. And the guy was like, well, I like the laundry detergent. So I'm going to just, I'm going to just go ahead and buy it. I don't know when else I'm going to, you know, find some tissue. You know, I don't need paper towels. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to buy it. And I was telling him, like, you're not going to force me to buy something I don't need. I have paper towel at my house. I just purchased paper towel. Not that that was any of his business, but I'm not going to purchase paper towel that I don't need. And then he said, well, you, you got to purchase something else because in order for you to purchase toilet tissue, you got to purchase something else because I got to move my inventory because people are, you know, buying up all the toilet tissue. And then he going to tell me as soon as everyone clears out and buy this toilet tissue i got some on my truck and when everyone clears out and they leave if you wait i'll get some off my truck and sell that to you for 25 dollars y'all see how that foolishness is but i still got to buy something else for him to sell it to me so i tried to be nice i said you know what let me walk around the store and see what else i want to buy in here so i can buy the toilet tissue that I've always purchased from you without having any other conditions. But as I walked around the store and I listened to people talk, because people were in there saying, um, $40, oh my God, this is, yeah, people were just outraged and then they were like, and then, you know, we got to buy the paper towels and that's going to be $65, you know, so I'm just walking around listening to them, you know, listening to people talk and it's pissing me off, it's getting me so upset, so... I said, you know what? You're not gonna come in here and force me to buy anything that I don't need. I'm not gonna do that because first of all, when I was going in there to buy something, everyone who knows me know that I am also a small business owner. And I work with a lot of homeless people in the Rowan County community and I work with victims of domestic violence. And when I purchase things, a lot of the times, I'm purchasing things and I'm giving it to them especially those you know that are homeless a lot of them you know they have their backpacks they may get do something to get put out the shelter or the shelter is full so they can't go in so i give them toiletries and food and things like that and then i had one of the mothers that um has survived domestic violence she came from another state she's here and i help her with supplies a lot so i said oh i can go and just buy that and just have it on hand because I'm thinking $25, why don't I just go buy two? I just have it on hand for them. So if anyone calls and they need it, I just give it to them instead of giving them mine that I have at my home, which is what I ended up doing. Yes, I ended up giving, you know, um, you know, two of the individuals that I work with, one of the mothers and one was, in, um, she's um, homeless, but I ended up really giving them some of the stock that I have in my home on yesterday. But um, like I said, I went around the store and I was thinking about it and I was listening to people talk. I said, you know what? This pisses me off. So I pulled out my phone because I was going to get on Facebook and go live in the store and tell everybody what he was doing. But I knew if I did that, I would have had to show my other side in that store so I went and I sat in my car in front of his store and I got on Facebook live and I told everybody what was going on and I'm not gonna lie I was very damn angry in that video I cursed a lot I did I was pissed to the max in that video I commented on his Facebook page I'm gonna do another comment on his Google page as well and I started completing the form the price gouging form at the attorney general's office on yesterday but i stopped because i was angry and i don't want to really type stuff like that when i'm angry i actually just finished it and submitted it today um so but i, I did that facebook live and then i said you know what 
let me go to sleep and see how I feel about it in the morning. Because yesterday I was pissed. Today when I woke up, I woke up very disappointed in my goal. I did, guys. I woke up very disappointed. Because when you open up a business in a community and that community supports you from day one and then we go in a state of emergency and you do that when your community needs you the most that says a lot about your ethics and your integrity that says a whole lot about that when you are a small business owner it is your duty to pour back in your community when the community is in crisis just the same way that the community has poured into your business you wouldn't have a business if it wasn't for our community you wouldn't and when that mother was talking to her daughter that did something in my spirit guys i'm telling you it did because i could see you know my mother has passed on but i can see that being me and my mother talking because if she was still living she would be retired she would be working with a fixed income i could see that and that did something to me that upset me so Bad. And then he was in there making comments that were so disrespectful. You know, this is my store. Um, no one else in town has it. If you want to buy it, you know, if you want it, you're going to buy it in here. And you're going to spend this price for it. Or you won't have it. I mean, just really disrespectful. I don't care if people, you know, get mad. This is my price. This is what it is. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So on my Facebook Live yesterday, I asked people, I said, y'all need to share this so people can know what type of business you are supporting in your county. Because I can tell you guys, I shop so many places in my county. There are other businesses that I deal with that are not minority owned businesses. And let me tell you what they are doing right now now that we are in a state of emergency due to the coronavirus they are discounting stuff just a little to help customers help you know if they don't have something they're going online on their you know laptops their phones while customers in stores let me help you find this let me help you find this you have some stores who are just setting out specific times for our elderly to come and shop so you know because they are that at risk population when things happen because they don't move as fast as some of us and it may take them longer to get to the stores and get things so you have some stores that are setting out specific times for the elderly only to come in and shop and who are really going out and taking things to people so you have companies that are really out here trying to help people during this time so in my um live video yesterday i you know i told people you need to see who you're supporting first of all and when y'all go into his store tell him he needs to be ashamed of himself because he should be setting an example and not doing that to people it's not right it's not right um over 500 people have watched the video it has been shared multiple times and let me tell you this morning he responded to the post i made on his page let me get to it let me get to it so i just did and let me, let me read y'all the post that i wrote on his page I called the owner of this store this morning to ask if he had toilet tissue. He said he did and that it was still $25. I waited for him to arrive for almost two hours because I called him, you know, like I said, at 9. And I went to his store and I waited till 11 until he got there. When he arrives, he says that the price is $40. And because the toilet paper shortage, he would, he would only sell toilet paper if people purchased, um paper towel as well and with taxes that made the price $65 and I said for a community supported store to do such to a customers in times like this is not only unethical but it is flat out not right the community has supported this business since day one and for the owner to extort customers in need is beyond despicable I'm very disappointed and would never spend my money here again 
he had some customers write things about what I said and it was fine, nothing bad. But it was another customer, and I'm not going to say her name out loud, but she said he is not price gouging. The toilet tissue in the bag is $25 and the box has always been $40 because you get able to 80 double rolls of charming. Regular customers know this. And I could have been rude and set her down and got her in her place, but I didn't. What I said to her was, you know her name, I am a regular customer. And it was the $25 bags with the 30 rolls that he was selling for $40, not the boxes. And she didn't respond. And that's been a while ago. So before you get on a post and say something, know the facts and know what you're talking about. Because I know what I'm saying. And he writes... Everyday your sale store has has never price gouged. You're not coming to my store buying all the toilet paper and be like, screw the rest of my regular customers. Contact who you want so they can see your ignorance. And I wrote back to him and of course he didn't respond. Micah, I spoke with you at 9 a.m. yesterday to confirm the stock and the continued price of $25. You changed your price when you realized that customers had come to the store, when you realized what customers had come to the store to purchase. If you felt that you weren't price gouging, you wouldn't have told me to be quiet about our conversation before I get you jumped by the other customers in the store. The complaint has been made and the Attorney General's office will contact you. Thank you. You think he responded? No, he didn't. He knew exactly what he was doing. And like I said, and to other customers, before you comment, know the facts and know what you're talking about. I know what I'm saying. This is not my first time in his store. I'm very disappointed in him. I am so, so, so very disappointed in him because I expected more. I expected more. In my agency, I have offered free services to people. I have given people clothing, food, Walmart gift cards, Target gift cards, food line gift cards. You know, I have paid kids school fees. When when women have come from different places different states and they are new here you know i've helped them pay deposits to get into their places um you know i've helped buy their school their kids school clothes so they went going to the schools and be bullied first of all you're the new kid you don't need to be the new kid not wearing good quality school clothes so no one can never come for me and question my ethics and what I do at my agency for the community. My record speaks for itself. Everyone who knows me can tell you my record speaks for itself. I practice on treating people right the first time around. I don't play games like that. So before you comment on something, know exactly what you're talking about. I've been going in that store for years. But there has never really been a disaster and I had to go in the store afterwards because I was already prepared. You know, I was already prepared this time because I shop in bulk, I shop in bulk anyway. But I had already purchased stuff from Sam's Club, Walmart, and um, for Family Dollars before this had even became a problem. So I already had what I needed. I was in there trying to shop for stuff for some of the ladies that I work with that I help. But I, I'm just thankful to God that he gave me the means to already have things in my home and gave me the means to know other people. So if that I needed something for a young lady that I work with or for a family, I can go and get it. He needs to be ashamed of himself. He does. Because, when, a, like I said, when a community supports you, you need to support that community. And, you know... For those of you who may be on here saying, oh, you're just upset and you don't have the stuff, I can show you what's here in my house. I'm going to open But One thing about me, when you know me, you know my word is bond. What I say is what it is. And I can show you exactly what's here. So, you know, why would I buy? Let's start with paper towel. Why would I buy paper towel out of there? Why would I do that? 
when in my house I still have my Bounty 12 double rolls that I haven't used all of it. I think I have like four or five left in there. I have my Scott paper towel that I haven't even opened yet. So why? Please explain to me why would I go somewhere and be forced to purchase paper towel that I don't use. Let me show you my um, utility closet. Well, not utility, but my extra um, closet that I keep supplies in. Let me cut these lights on, guys. Let's go back here. This is being here. You understand what I'm saying? These have 20 rows in it. This is not even open. A second one back here. Not even open. A third one here. Not even open. I have baby wipes. I have some tissue that I bought from Walmart that we're still going through. Only one is open. Only one of them is open. And with those tissues that have the 20 rolls in it, let me go back to the table so y'all can see me. And with the ones that have the 20 rows in them, those, because I had five of them, those were the ones I ended up giving to the people that I work with on yesterday. So when you try to, if you did, if you ever try to come for me and in my ethics and what I do you better google me and see who and what you're talking to because I know what I do for people I know what I do for people and I know if I say something I know what I'm talking about and it is the flat out truth when you are a business owner in any community you are held at a higher standard and when things like this happen you're supposed to react better than this. So, but guys, I just hope that this is a lesson learned. Um, and also, if you are, because I know the schools are also um, providing meals for students during this time that they're out of school, if you, and um, excuse me, KNW is also providing meals from 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. in Salisbury, Statesville, and three locations in Western Salem. Let me get the locations for you before I get off here. Let me give that out to you guys. Let me find it because I saved it so I could. And and with this, KNW has partnered with ARKA Tasty Food. Um, I don't know how they say it, ARKA, because it's A-R-K-A, Tasty Foods. K&W, they're partnering with them, and they didn't put a time frame, like a dur duration on how long they're going to do it, but they said they've already started, and it's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. from youth children ages 1 to 18 at no cost to the family. You can go into their restaurants and you can eat at no cost to you or your family, but you have to eat inside the restaurant. Um, and like I said, they're doing it in Salisbury and Stakesville and Wisdom Salem. They are doing it on Healy Drive, Peters Creek Parkway and Haynes Mall Boulevard. Also in, um, if you are in Rowan County, um, Salisbury, excuse me, my camera cut off. Um, but if you are in Rowan County, Salisbury, and you need transportation to somewhere to get, if you live out in the county and you don't have the transportation to get into town to get food for um, yourself or your, um, your children during this time, please, 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 my contact information is linked down in... Um, in the information section of this video please send me an email please send me an email i will make sure that i either find transportation for you to get in town or either a way to get food to you and your family if you are in rowan county um if you have children or if it's an elderly um person or a couple who needs assistance because in times like this guys we got to do better. We got to help each other. So again, my um, 
email information is linked down below i'm not going to put my personal cell phone number out there but i will give you guys my google number i don't remember it um offhand and you can call me on that number um it's 704-951-4443 again 704-951-4443 if you know of any family with school-aged children or any elderly people who live out of county and can't get to these bus stops to get food while these kids are out of school can't get to can w to get food while these kids are out of school please give me a call or email me at my email address below um, in the information of this video and I will make sure that one you know I either get transportation for you to get those food resources or I go get resources and bring them to you like I said we all gotta help one another um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified when i uh, um when i upload new videos hopefully this is the first and last video that i ever have to come on and discuss something like this because it really bugged me to have to do so but if you know me you know I, when, when i know that something is not right i'm never going to be quiet about it i'm always going to call it out and either you can like it or not you know it is what it is but when things are wrong i'm gonna call them out for what they are because i practice treating people the way that i want to be treated and i expect the same especially when it's a business owner who has done nothing but being supported in this community so i love you guys thank you so much for watching um and i continue with my march madness videos on tomorrow and tomorrow it'll be a more upbeat video with a with a you know a better subject and we'll just get we'll just get back to business but thank you guys like i said thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys don't forget to like subscribe comment hit that notification bell be blessed my loves and be safe thank you